Hi guys, it's Ashley over from omeliving.com and today we are going to learn how to make a delicious Italian spaghetti sauce. So let's get started. In a large pot on medium heat, add about half a tablespoon of olive oil and one to two cloves of minced garlic. You're going to want to let your garlic saute and making sure to stir frequently to make sure it doesn't burn. Once your garlic starts turning brown, you're going to want to add about 6 ounces of tomato paste and stir until smooth. After a minute or two of stirring your tomato paste in with your garlic and making sure it's nice and smooth, it's time to add in your two cans of tomato sauce plus your one can of water. What I typically do is fill up one empty can of the tomato sauce with water and mix it back and forth with the two cans, making sure I get as much tomato sauce as I can into my Italian sauce. And once again, you're going to want to stir your sauce in, mixing the tomato paste with the sauce and water until smooth. Once your sauce is nice and warm, add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and your pre-mixed spice. The pre-mixed spice contains five tablespoons of rosemary, four and a half tablespoons of onion powder, four tablespoons of basil, three and a half tablespoons of salt, three tablespoons of garlic powder, one and a half tablespoons of black pepper, one and a half tablespoons of marjoram, one tablespoon of summer savory, and half a tablespoon of ground cloves. Making sure to blend all those up and that makes your beautiful spice mixture. I typically fill a large mixing spoon with the spice and slowly add more in to my own liking, tasting in between each spoonful. Once you have the spice to your liking, you're going to want to cover and let the sauce simmer for about 10 to 20 minutes. This sauce goes great on spaghetti squash, baked pasta, and especially eggplant parmesan. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and if there's any other recipes you'd like to learn how to make, please put them in the comments down below, as well as any questions you may have on this recipe. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Namaste.